bird even come from, you think? There's a story about a great condor said to roost on an island's abandoned reactor. Though there's no longer any way to reach the isle. Or at least, none that I'm aware of. They just finally reclaimed what Shinra stole. Well, even if we could get there, I'd rather not bother. It didn't seem very friendly. Agreed. Let's focus on where we can go.
I've confirmed proto realm energy signals in your vicinity. Would you mind investigating?
So all of this is Junon? Everything above us. Below is under Junon. Little more than an impoverished fishing village. <laughs> Figures. Shinra's always gotta have someone stuck on. It's their friggin' M.O. One moment. <laughs> Welcome to Under Junon, our sunless oasis. My name is Rhonda. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. Asking. A woman who could turn you in and be a hundred grand richer for it. <laughs> well, you know what they say can't take it with you. Hmm. Hmm. And Aerith to boot, huh? That's another half a million on top. Uh, half a million? here though we know when to turn a blind eye consider our lips sealed uh, sorry but I call bullshit well I don't think you would if you knew even half of what my town's been through you don't like it leave but over there there's a quiet little inn where everyone's welcome any guys in black robes pass through? Not that I saw. Did see some black suits, though. Two guys and a girl. Looked pretty tough. Well, well. They made a beeline right for the elevator. Now we're talking. No, don't even think about it. In case it isn't obvious, upstairs is Shinra turf. And the same goes for the elevator as well. Don't ask me what, but the company's got something big planned up there, and security is tight. You start anything, anything at all, and there will be consequences. Gotta be black robes around here somewhere. So how are we gonna find them? That would depend on where they are headed. If they mean to continue west, there are only two ways off this continent. By sea or by air. Right. Might want to ask around town then. Locals will know routes not on the map. They may have even seen stragglers pass through. Or got boats for rent or something. How about we meet at the inn when we're done? Sounds good. And remember, low profile. Brittle houses in the sea air. Paint chipping and wood bending. Time moving on. And the light here. Hello there. Inspiring, isn't it? The view. I'm Snaps, by the way. Shutterbug and card-carrying member of the Association of Photography Aficionados. Mind if I get a shot of you? For posterity. <laughs> Pretty as a picture. You got what it takes to be in front of the camera. But what about behind it? So, apparently there's a rather scenic spot not far from here. Thing is, this terrain's a bit perilous. 
at least for your average photog like me, but maybe not for you. If you find the spot, take a moment to appreciate it. Try to view it as a professional photographer might. Who do you think will get licensed first? Me or you? Want to make a bet? Brittle houses in the sea. Have you met Priscilla yet? You'll know her when you see her. Hey there, looking to augment your folios? Come back soon. She's our town. Oil, coal, wind. The Republic of Junon had no shortage of weight. Hey, you see that tree? No need for Mako. No, sir. Shouldn't we know? <laughs> what can I do you for? You take care of yourself, okay? I'm looking for a quality harpoon. Where those word around town is Shinra's holding some kind of big event up top. Wonder what? Okay, where was I? I see that you've made your way to Under Junon. This town is quite reminiscent of the Midgar Undercity, isn't it? The severe lack of sunlight being one similarity. Needless to say, many hazards await you on the road, so take care. Believe it or not, we're recruiting for Crows Against God damn! Very true. Sorry, the ship won't be leaving port until the festivities are over. It's in the old days. Back in the day. Believe it or not, there's a reaction. I'm a fisherman, not a businessman. Shinra knows. Like a man died. Of course, if you trawl the waters with a company ship. Ocean's real quiet. Many, many years ago, the Republic. So, our town, our land, our land, our town, our land, our land, our land. Elevators on lock. This is born to. Mister, are you looking for someone to play Queen's Blood with? We'd be more than happy to go a round or two with you. I'm Devin, the younger brother. And I'm Darren, the older one. And together, we're the Double D Duo, a team of twins who love Queen's Blood. 
You'll face my little brother here first. If you win, then I'll take you on. Two for the price of one. Sweet deal, right? Speaking of prices, if you lose against either of us, you gotta fork over three gil. Not bad, but next, you gotta beat me. Don't worry, Devin. I promise I'll avenge you. I can't believe we lost. You're better at this than I thought. Hold up. Does this mean we don't get our three gil? No, he totally still owes us. I'm pretty sure the deal was if we lost, we got three gil. Isn't that right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You may have beaten us this time, but we'll get that three gil from you yet. So if you're ever in the mood, come back and play.
see that trail they took the elevator to the Many, many. Been an age since we've seen this. Hello there. Room for one. Help! Somebody, please! Help! <sighs> Anybody, please! That sword. You're some kind of fighter, aren't you? That was Priscilla. And from the sound of it, she needs a tough guy like you to lend a hand. We gotta go! Now! There's a monster attacking the boat! This way! Down here! Quickly! Please! Yeah. 
Check on that girl. Come on. I don't think she's breathing. Hey, we need help over here. She's so cold. Maybe someone should go find a doctor. There's no time. Somebody, help! 
to get her breathing again. Maybe someone should go find a doctor? <sighs> Don't just stand there, help me! You're on chest compressions. Got it. Now, start! Uh. guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. <sighs> Easy. They're guests of mine. And this one was trying to save your life. He was? Ugh, nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't ya? You big moron! <laughs> Okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Not to beat that guy, but kids these days, I swear. Now, now. Who is that? Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you... I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but... Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow? Sweet! You won't be sorry! Promise! Later! Um... I know, I know, she laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. Isn't the heroes of the hour. I heard about what you did for that girl. Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. We insist. It's the least we can do for you, really. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? Uh, could you make it five? Five it is. Oh, everything is comped. So if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? I could feel them slipping away, one by one, and the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. 
And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Speaking of, you seen them lately? <laughs> Cloud. Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Red. Thought it was someone else. Nope. I'll clear here, officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. Come in. I don't know about you, but it feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that, not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? You shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. I saw it, you know, in a vase at Seventh Heaven. And I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl. Especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. Noted. Water under the bridge. But next time... This town reeks of fish and brine. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. We'll manage. <laughs> it feels like I have fish bones in my nose. My poor nose. Perfect timing. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I... You... Regret what I said in calm. Oh. Come in. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio? From Nibelheim? Only person from the village I remember is you. Huh? Oh. Okay then. His family owned the general store. Right. <sighs> anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all... grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like... She could have been a model, and... <sighs> You're... not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? 
I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? <laughs> With my iron stomach? <laughs> Night. That Yuffie kid. What do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Like Tifa said, your autograph. <laughs> ah, the burden of fame. <laughs> Always knew this day'd come. Good thing my signature's a work of art. Let me prove it to you. Shinra didn't waste any time getting our names and faces out here, did they? the gang's all here. It's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the Interim Wutai Government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai's not to be trifled with! <laughs> mm. <sighs> Wutai? brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand. But you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats. I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that way. I resent that. <laughs> Although, that is something we do. Traveling alone so far from home is expensive. So I've been moving from town to town, hustling, scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here. And lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime, an assassination. And guess who the target is? Seriously, guess! <sighs> Just spit it out already. Who else but a certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? 
And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here, anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out... Oh, wow. Tell us more. Mm. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, gotta hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this was fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> If you manage to get away, you should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. <laughs> now, now! You don't want to make me come in there and fetch you, because I would love to do it! Who's that? A pain in the ass. Let's go. from yonder balcony breaks. Come on down and say hello. Honestly, how long do you intend to keep me waiting? Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> Still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if by fate, the Speed Demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith Gainsborough. Uh, me? You come alone? <laughs> it only takes two to tango. Besides, you and I like to go big, and a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame with a show none shall ever forget. <laughs> you got some weird friends, man. We might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you, the slime ball who sold us out? Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't, because it all worked out. Worked out fine. Like I pray it will for Yuffie upstairs. Since you clearly don't have anything better to do, think I could put you to work? The remainder of your bounty. I need it delivered to someone. I've already got a porter picked out, too. This here is Salmon. Since he'll be the one making the drop, it's your job to get him there safe. Huh. Doesn't seem like too much of a hassle, but who exactly is this money for? My son. Haven't seen him in a spell. Not since he left town. And never looked back. 
This gills me washing my hands of him. He's a grown man. Can't be clinging to his mom's skirts. Or her pocketbook. Much obliged. Once you make it to the crow's nest, find Toby. He'll make sure you get the reward I promised. But if I find a single hair out of place on Sam, you won't live to enjoy it. You keep my boy safe. Don't you worry. Any monster that wants to get you is gonna have to go through me. Hey Cloud, remind me. How old were you when you left home? Fourteen. Wait, it was spring, so... Thirteen. Suppose that ain't too unusual for small town boys like you. What'd your mom have to say? Not much. Didn't try to stop me. Like you said, nothing unusual about it. But... But... 2,000 gil. She offered me that. To make a fresh start. <laughs> Guess moms are the same all over. I turned the money down, though. Didn't need it, since I was planning to enlist straight away. <laughs> but you still can't help setting your price at two grand. Sentimental, ain't you? Okay. 
Okay, hear me out. What? No how some parents stop their kids from leaving the nest, claiming it's too soon or they're not ready. Any excuse to keep them at home. What about it? Loads of parents are like that, but I told myself I'd be different. I'd never keep my little girl from flying. I don't want to clip her wings. I want her to soar. <laughs> I hear you scoffing. You think I can't do it? You think I'll keep her all to myself? Oh, yeah. And that's what scares me. As much as I want to let her fly, I don't know if I'll be able to let go when the time comes. Maybe I'll panic, get in the way, hold her down, all to keep her safe. Oh, Marlene, I wish you could be my baby girl forever. Shit together. Marlene's barely out of diapers. You've got time. Right, right. I'm just getting worked up over nothing. Yeah, she won't be leaving me for a while. Then again. Hey! Right. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> 
Sam, what are you doing here? Oh, you must be beat, buddy. Coming all this way just to say hi? Uh, do I know you? We're Sam's bodyguards. Your mom hired us to keep him safe. And to make sure her boy got his allowance. Keep it. I ain't taking her money. I can make ends meet on my own. Who are they, Dylan? Friends of yours? Claire, what are you doing out of bed? You know you need to stay off your feet. I know you came all this way, but I can't accept that. Just make sure Sam gets home safe for me. You really are your mother's kid. Got her stubbornness and everything. Have it your way. <laughs> Why don't you hang on to it? This is a fortune. If you really don't want it, I'll take it off your hands. But as a parent, I'm sure you want to give your kid the best life you can. And in my experience, that don't come cheap. Think it over. That's true. We'll take it. Dilster, what's looking for you, dude? Toby. Sorry, got a little tied up. Hang on. Aren't these guys with Avalanche? Rhonda said I might run into you. Avalanche? Wait, you mean they're the ones who blew up those reactors? The superstars themselves. I just want to say it is such an honor to meet you. Actually, while you're here, think I could ask you for a favor? Seeing as Dylan's, uh, situation seems to be taken care of? Yep, it's all good. Excellent. In that case, why don't we step into my office for a chat? Right this way. All those willing to fight. 
fight against Shiva's tyranny. Man, you make Carinos are something else. When I saw you on the news, I was blown away. Violence isn't the answer. And here you are, lending me a hand. It's literally a dream come true. So, here's the situation. There's this big lighthouse down by the Cape, and someone calling themselves the Merc of Junon has turned it into their hideout or something. A Merc? Oh, are they an acquaintance of yours? No. Anyway, that place has got a killer view. We used to go up there all the time and just chill. But it's too dangerous with all the monsters around, and that merc hasn't done a thing about him. So I was hoping you could do me a solid and convince that merc to help us out. They've done many a good deed in Midgar and all throughout the Grasslands. Allegedly, that is. And like, if they're so good at doing good, then why aren't they doing anything now? Yo, you're the best! You know, I just knew I could count on you. So? You gonna help, or... Me? You can sniff out trouble. <laughs> I suppose that does make me the most suitable candidate. Oh, pro tip! If you ever get the chance, you ought to swing by the hill, too. You might even catch a glimpse of the Great Condor if you're lucky. If you're into that kind of stuff. I get that we're brand new to the CAS. We're building a new... Claire's really lucky. Talk about a love story. Hey, what were you thinking sending Sam back alone like that? He even need us in the first place? Your mother'd give Stamp a run for his money. <laughs> so, how's my son? Seem okay? Yeah. You gonna stand there and pretend this wasn't all about Claire and her bun in the oven? <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from this stubborn ass tree. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Wouldn't know about that. And if you're done making wisecracks, I got work to do. Brittle houses and... Isn't Priscilla just oil? I guess there's some kind of inauguration. You wouldn't believe. Elevator's been shut down since... Oh! Hey, you guys! We talked to Yuffie. She said that you could show us a way to get up top. Sure, I'd be happy to. Although, Yuffie's the one who found it. And according to her, that tanker's the quickest and easiest way into the city. See that? That booth up there is the control room. 
so we can repurpose this ship as an elevator. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. The problem is, how are we supposed to get to the controls? High voltage? Yep. It should just say, no climbing. So we're stuck. Not with Mr. Dolphin. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Like... Like when we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. At least I thought I was alone. But then, squeak, squeak, I hear this funny noise. That's great and all, but we're in a hurry. Hey! We're sorry, really. But we'll make sure to come back as soon as we're done. You can finish your story then. How does that sound? Okay, promise. <laughs> hmm? Never done it before? My arm, your arm, bam! Oh, gotcha! <laughs> awesome! Alright then, now what? Now we ask Mr. Dolphin to get you up. With his help, it'll be a cinch. Okay, which one of you wants to go flying? Got you written all over it, Merc. Guess it's me. Great. Just let me know when you're ready to go. It's right here. The ship's not far, so you'll be there in no time. If we don't sink on the way...
You've been a huge help, Priscilla. No prob. Well, guys and girls, and, uh, dog, I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move. security than I thought. More worried about the parade? <laughs> Guess things have changed. They got higher priorities. Personally, I think that's a good thing. The city's size, on the other hand. The robed men won't be easy to find. They're definitely not here. Let's head into town. We cannot let Midgar win. Not Any idea what that is? The highway. Shinra's pride and joy. The fastest, most advanced airship in the fleet. Screw the boat. Let's take that. Unless you got a trained crew and piloting skills we don't know about, we're sticking with the boat. That's too bad. Would have been perfect. Hey, beggars can't be choosers.
the rehearsal. That's the ticket, I tell you. No of advice. Do not piss off Director Heidegger. No, we'll leave them be. For now. <laughs> Enter. An emissary from Wutai is here, sent by Viceroy Saruf. Oh? He introduced himself as Colonel Glenn Ladbrock. All right. I thought you were dead. <laughs> then you thought right. Let's cut to the chase, Mr. President. The Viceroy and your late father had big plans. I assume you intend to carry them out? Correct. That's good to hear. Some people just don't have the stomach for war. And this battle for the Magnus Materia demands commitment from both Wutai and Shinra. Thank you, I'm aware. But my father is dead, which changes the equation. A new vision is required. You always did prefer to march to the beat of your own drum. This new vision include your fairy tale promised land? <laughs> you Shinras, you take and you take, and you never give back. Left to you, this world would end up an empty husk. But war can put things right. Beget anger, desolation, hatred, and in its wake, new unity. A people rejuvenated, and a planet once more made whole. What we're doing's for the greater good. Just gotta know when to ease off the gas. Now listen. You started this, remember? No more playing the idle air. You have obligations to fulfill. <laughs> Let's give the people what they deserve. Oh, right. Before I leave, a message from the Viceroy. Congratulations on your inauguration, Mr. President. Shinra has a bright future.
So, Cloud, what can you tell us about Junon? It's a key military outpost with its own offshore reactor. A critical line of defense against any seaborne assault. When needed, it can transform into an armed fortress. Its strategic location, along with its air and seaports, make it second only to Midgar as the company's most vital city. Huh. Neat. Any good restaurants? Sights to see? Uh, maybe? I don't know. Ah, uh, right. You're not the touristy type. Hey, just to be clear, you do realize we're not here on vacation, right? Uh, of course I do. Hey, look, what's that about? Listen up. Midgar's 7th Infantry will return home with the President's commendation. Let's show him how a real drill team does it. And make our city proud! Troopers! You're all off duty until the parade begins. But use this time wisely. Practice your technique. Those troopers seemed pretty psyched for the parade, huh? More like eager to prance around for their new paymaster. <laughs> now, I know what y'all gonna say, but I gotta ask. What? If Rufus is in town, are we really gonna let this opportunity pass us by? Hmm. Hell, I'm not saying we kill the man, but we ought to at least give him a talking to. Rough him up a little, maybe, you know? Actually, I'm gonna have to agree. First, the Turks say, do whatever, we're not after you. But then, Cloud's biker buddy rolls up and says he is. We gotta straighten this out. Okay, but how? We can't just walk up to the president in the street. Or maybe we can. Huh? We bust up his parade! No. That's how we die in a hail of bullets like a bunch of dumbasses. The city's crawling with Shinra troopers. We join the parade. Hide in plain sight. Get in, get close, get answers. Seriously? Sure. Wow, that's good. No arguments here. <laughs> Barrett, Brett. You guys find a route to the port. See what security's like. And keep an eye out for black robes while you're at it. Now hold up! Fatigues won't be enough to disguise you two. <sighs> True enough. Shut up. Alright, see you in a bit. I gotta go find a uniform. Oh, we're coming with. I'm so pumped for this. This way? Yeah. Attention all troopers. Spare uniforms can be found here. Please get changed. The ceremony will be starting... Now we're talking. Actually, kind of cool. Well, ready to suit up? Yep. <laughs> Whoa there. Uh. Three steps back, if you please. What do you think you're doing? If you're gonna stand there, keep watch. Hands up! 
Well? Well? You got me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say we look the part. Maybe. But don't forget, you gotta act the part too. Just do what I do, alright? Head to Starboard Junon when you're ready. Better hurry. You don't want to be the reason your team is disqualified. Hold it! seeing the three of you at practice. Am I to assume that you simply forgot? Sorry, sir. <gasps> sorry, sorry, sir. You're sorry? Do you have any idea how important today's ceremony is? Do you maggot? Form check now. You will give your commander a flawless performance. And if you show her anything less than perfection... I'll feed your ass to a behemoth! Now what? Just follow my lead. I still remember the basics. I'm having second thoughts, you guys. What the hell are you doing over there? The commander is waiting! Sir! Attention! Have to hand it to you three. You've got guts skipping out on practice. That, or you're idiots. Let's find out, shall we? I'm not about to take any chances today. I'm warning you now, though. One slip up and I'll chuck you straight into a Marlboro's mouth. Clear? Hereby promoted to parade captain of Midgar 7th Infantry. You will be our model trooper, the one to march at the head of our drill team. Which means that our performance, satisfactory or otherwise, is now your responsibility. Ma'am.
aspirate, Captain. You will round up your fellow troopers currently on leave in larboard Juno. You will recall that, to march in the parade, each drill team is required to muster five units or more. Look for the Seventh Brassards. They'll identify the best from the rest. Once assembled, you and the team will report to starboard Juno. Tardiness will not be tolerated. Now, make us proud. Bam! Bam. Lucky? Hey, you sure about this? Is the parade really gonna get us to Rufus? The parade won't, but the presidential commendation will. That's how these things go. The president himself gives the award. Wow, that's some plan. I mean, it's risky, but... Gotta go big or go home, right? Ready to rally the troops, Captain? Yeah. Just remember, Midgar, 7th Infantry. Anyone with one of these guys, right? Come on. toward the middle then, would you? Sorry, Mr. President. Don't mind me. Come on. You gonna pose or what? Ooh, perfect timing, Captain. Would you mind taking the picture so I can get in there? Whenever you're ready, sir! Thanks a bunch. Wow, Captain! Who knew you were such a pro? I might just have to frame this. Great time's over, people. The parade's about to begin. Follow me. Yes, sir! Damn, look at the size of that thing. It's bigger than big. It's what? We're trying to enjoy the view. It's the captain. Oh, um, I, uh, captain. Get your shit together. Parade's about to begin. Everyone, follow me. Yes, yes sir. sir. Nobody's batted an eye. 
We're gonna win the president's commendation. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Think you mean I'm rooting for you? There's a lot of troopers in town, especially by the port. Because of the crowds, no doubt. Long as we keep our heads down, we'll be okay. Sir! Welcome back, sir! Welcome back, sir! I'll be officially joining the counter-terrorism unit. Shit! I know. They haven't even told me where I'm gonna be stationed. This sucks. Well, we'll just have to make the most of the time we got. Can we help you? We're kind of in the middle of something. Check the helmet! Oh, Captain! I, I didn't... I'm sorry, sir! Break time's over. Outside. Now. Yes, sir! Commendation. Call me biased if you wish, but I believe our Afrit formation is the pinnacle of perfection. I don't know. The Grenadier's Rameau is pretty tight, too. Nothing beats the Riot Trooper's Shiva formation. It's rock solid. Hmm. If only we could come up with a formation that allowed all of our troops to shine. The President's commendation would be as good as ours. Huh. Captain! Sir, permission to ask a question. What formations do you intend to utilize for our performance? Uh, that depends on the readiness of my men. But you can rest assured that your captain has everything under control. Is that clear? Now, out! Sir! Yes, yes sir! sir. Good day. Is there something I can help you with? Scanning. Potential research candidate confirmed. Hmm. Huh. Cloud? Why in the world are you wearing that uniform? On second thought, forget I asked. The less I know about your undercover pursuits, the better. Should you require assistance, let me know. Now then, Captain, how might I help you today? If there's anything else I can do for you, please let me know. I'm always happy to help. If I go now, then I'll end up having to go again during the parade, guaranteed. No matter no, what. No, we need to be ready for anything. The best unit win. 
Don't hold it too long. Captain, good luck in the parade today. Never just the Judon's heritage oh. earlier today. We're oh. looking forward to a celebratory drink, to sir. Can't wait, After sir. Two hours, he will take part in his inauguration. Nice uniforms. Aw, how'd you know it was us? By your scent. That is some nose you got there, Red. Leaving the Mako-soaked streets of Midgar behind has done wonders for my faculties. Though this place is starting to take its toll. It's gonna be broadcast live in Midgar. So we gotta show up and show out. Range. Give the folks back home something to believe in, right? Um, can I help you? <laughs> Captain? Guys, quick! Attention! Get your shit together. Parade's about to begin. Everyone, follow me. Yes, sir! Hope you find anything today. Feel free to keep browsing. We carry only the finest in materia here. We look for. Around here somewhere, I think. Good luck in the parade today. Wonder if I'll be able to watch the parade from my window. Midgar, 7th Infantry. Reporting is ordered, ma'am. And on time. Good. <laughs> the parade is scheduled to begin shortly. I trust your team is ready, Captain? <laughs> Still haven't assembled your team, Captain? I'm sure some of your fellow troopers fell into a bottle or two. Try the bars around town. Get your team in order, Captain. Drink with us. You're gonna have to lose the helmets. 
No scalp, no service. <laughs> Well, what are you waiting for? Unless, are you three mop heads? Wait, he's our new captain. He didn't know. <sighs> Sir, this place is for the clean shaven. You need to prove that you belong or leave. Uh. r &R's over, people. Seven, outside. Sir! Hey, if you want to drink here, the helmet has to go. Always hard to get it right the first time. Okay, let's see. <laughs> it feels so good to be unburdened. Smooth heads. Looking forward to a celebratory drink, sir! Can't wait, sir! Better time to splurge than on a special occasion. Our girls are lovely, am I right? Thanks, Captain. We hope to see you again soon. I just came here to browse the new release. Thanks for stopping by. Bye. All set, then. Listen up. As we march, the eyes of the whole world will be watching us. And we, uh... And we cannot, we will not let our great city of Midgar down. Failure is not an option. It's a big ask, but we can do it, together. Because we have our captain to guide us. Look to him, trust in him, and he will lead us to victory, so long as we follow. Isn't that right, sir? Uh, right. Now bring it home. Today is our day. It was made for the 7th Infantry. We will win that commendation for our city. And we will return home as champions! Yes, sir! Who's gonna show the rest of them how it's done? We are! I can't hear you! We are! Captain, the parade's about to start. Don't wanna be late, sir. Of course. When did we last use her? Five years ago, sir. Let's blow off the dust. But, but sir... Even a ceremonial display would constitute a violation of the ceasefire. Wutai would view it as a willful act of aggression. And? It's a new era. Let's ring it in with a bang. 
<laughs> Very good, sir. Very good. Nothing like fireworks to rouse the spirits. Mr. President, it's time. celebration of the century. As you can see, the streets of Junon are abuzz with excitement. People have turned out in droves to catch a glimpse of the new president, Rufus Shinra. And here comes Midgar's mobile unit. Their incredible skills are truly a sight to behold. this crowd. Uh, the president has stopped. Ready to fire, sir. Welcome to the New World Order. Fire! Ladies and gentlemen, with a single blast of Junon's famous cannon, Rufus Shinra has announced his arrival. <sighs> in Starboard Junon as the final team of the day takes their position. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Midgar 7th Infantry. The captain and his team have trained long and hard, determined to win the presidential commendation for everyone back home in Midgar. I can't wait to see what kind of performance they'll put on today. Troopers of the 7th Infantry make us proud. Left! Face! First sequence, begin! This is looking promising! Second sequence, begin! This makes perfect. That practice is paying off. of today's performance by the 7th Infantry Drill Team. Our judges are currently tabulating the votes from you, the viewers. And here they are now. Frankly, I'm already blown away. And folks here seem to agree, the crowd is loving it. The only question is how they're going to top this. Left, face. Formation, change. Solid work.
Final sequence. Begin. Their movements are so crisp and clean. I can't take my eyes off them. It all looks so effortless. What a performance! And with that, the 7th Infantry concludes the second part of their performance. As ever, our judges have been busy tallying all the votes we've received. So let's take a look at the results. Universal acclaim, and little wonder given the skill and coordination on display. Keep this up and the seventh might well be destined for glory. I wouldn't bet against them. Drill team, halt! First sequence, begin! Is something wrong? Formation, change! So far, so good. You're watching history in the making, folks. Final sequence, begin. They're in perfect sync. Excellent direction. And with that, we've reached Talking the end of the 7th in Infantry's the... performance. Oh. <sighs> Sorry about that. For the final time, the judges are tallying the votes from you, the viewers. <laughs> Let's see the results. In the end, then, Midgar 7th provided a satisfying conclusion to today's parade. But the question remains, will their efforts be enough to impress our new president? Let's wait and see. Coming up next, the moment of truth for our competitors. Which team will take home the commendation? Stay tuned to find out. Yes, sir. Around the clock. They remain unaware. Leave them to me. I want you and your people tracking the ropes. Understood. We're back on the clock. I trust you know the mission by now. My friends, allow me to congratulate you on the stirring performance you've done your company proud. Your passion and patriotism is beyond question, and I know our president can't wait to thank you all. <laughs> of course, some among you are deserving of special praise. For our first award, we will recognize the division whose exemplary display eclipsed all others. The prize for outstanding performance goes to... Midgar's mobile unit!
Commendations, but we practiced. Come on up, Commander. Aye, aye. Thank you, sir. Next, we have the President's Commendation. If you would do the honor, sir. The late President, my father, single-handedly turned a small arms manufacturer into the greatest company the world has ever seen and transform all of our lives with the miracle of Mako. So I invite you to join me in a moment of silence for a great man gone too soon. We live in challenging times. Some may feel that I am too young too inexperienced to lead us. But to them, and to you all, I say this. The Shinra Electric Power Company will endure. The challenges we face can be overcome if we summon our courage and cut ties with the past. Yesterday is behind us. We must look instead to the promise of tomorrow, for today is a new day. And the first of a long, arduous journey which we must take together. Follow me, and we will reach our promised land. This I do solemnly swear before you all, as president of the Shinra Electric Power Company. My friends, place your trust in me, and together will we achieve our dream of a better world. A commendation to present. The award goes to Midgar's Seventh Infantry. <laughs> <laughs> To accept this award on behalf of the team, three of the best will now join me. Come on up. The president has invited three members of the 7th Infantry to come and accept the award on the drill team's behalf. Salute! Your performance today was nothing short of incredible. Midgar's 7th Infantry is, without a doubt, the pride of our people. Congratulations. <laughs> With the generous praise, the President offers his congratulations to the team. One can only imagine what those three troopers... Hmm? I have a few private words to say to these troopers. Cut the feed. Sir! You! You're on crowd control! That ain't right. Excuse me! Need to get through! Barrett, over there. Huh? Of all the times, 
I rarely talk to the rank and file. Why not take off your helmet? Cloud Strife. That was a first-class performance. One worthy of a soldier. Stand down. But, sir! You are a fascinating individual, Cloud Strife. Your file was as gripping as it was enlightening. Which is why I have a proposition for you. At present, Midgar requires my full and undivided attention. The city is Shinra's beating heart. Its devastation is a humiliation, and the world must see us rebuild. To that end, I need to refocus my efforts and push certain duties to one side. Get to the point. My father left me a mountain of unfinished tasks, like the recapture of a fugitive of ancient descent the recovery of a stolen lab specimen, and, of course, the arrest and execution of Avalanche. None of which, frankly, are of any interest to me whatsoever. I'd gladly wash my hands of it all. So what? You're gonna let us go? Just like that? Yes. Provided you keep your distance from Midgar, that is. No more stirring the proverbial pot. And the same goes for me? But why? Because I have a new vision for Shinra. So we go free. And you get... Sephiroth, dead. <laughs> He's an unsavory relic of our past. And I want him gone. But in our current state, Shinra lacks the resources to get the job done. So I turn to you. It's a deal. You have a lead, I take it. The guys in black robes. Clever you. You know who they are, don't you? According to Hojo, they're connected to Sephiroth. Shadows of the Man, I believe he called them. Follow them and you'll find him. Right. Seems like a good way up. Shinra, time to pay. Focus. 
So, we have ourselves a deal then. Only if you can honor it. No one comes for us. Not Hojo, not the Turks, no one. <laughs> you have my word. Take your time. You know you can do this. <laughs> Here goes. your game it wasn't us spare me you had your chance sir please swing the rooftops now don't let them get away <laughs> headed for the port. Let's follow him. Place is on alert. Are you sure about that? We've still got the uniforms. Go on without me. I'll take care of the 7th Infantry. Throw him off the scent. Alone? You sure? Trust me. It's easier this way. Captain! Get going. Just received new intel. The suspect is en route to Larbor Junon. I'm to convey this information to all nearby units. Go join the search. I'll catch up. If I may, sir. We've heard rumors that there are others in league with the terrorists. Conspirators in stolen uniforms. For your own safety, sir, allow us to accompany you. Midgar 7th Infantry never leaves a man behind! Right. If the enemy is among us, other units are a potential threat, and we must treat them as such. Uh, good point. But you can trust us, sir. Like we trust you. We'll alert all units from here to the port elevator. When that's done, we'll regroup with the rest in Larbor Juno. Got it? Yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs> 